Hey everybody, my name's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel and you know why you're here? Let's break down some Taylor Swift lyrics. A few days ago, Taylor Swift released her second single of her album, Reputation, and oh, I don't think we were ready for it. I can't believe she released it so close to Look What You Made Me Do, but whatever. Queen Taylor does what she wants. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and follow me on social media, on Instagram and on Twitter. Yeah, okay, let's begin again. Pick that up. The old Taylor might not be as dead as we thought. This new song, dot dot dot, ready for it, is a mixture of the old Taylor that we know and love, talking about a guy, talking about love, but it's also a mixture with the new Taylor. It's edgy, it's dark, she's rapping for God's sake. Oh my God. What do you think of her rapping skills, by the way? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're familiar with her last album, 1989, this song sounds very similar to her last hit, Wildest Dreams. As someone else pointed out on Twitter, this song is a mixture of 1989 meets Red meets Wildest Dreams. Now, some people are claiming that this song is about Harry Styles, but we have confirmation, people. Miss Taylor Swift herself confirmed that this song is about her new boyfriend, Joe Alwyn by liking a post on Tumblr that I'm gonna break down for you in this video. You can find the link to all of my sources down below in my description and let's hop into it, guys. First of all, let's talk about the song name. Dot, 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 ready for it? Who is she talking to? Is she talking to us? Is she asking us, are we ready for her new album? Because we are. Or is she talking to her new boyfriend, Joe? Is she saying, Joe, are you ready for the media frenzy that's about to happen with this album and with them becoming a public couple? I think we're all ready for that. Let's start with the lyrics. She says, knew he was a killer first time that I saw him. We think that this line is referencing Joe Alwyn's recent role as Private Billy Lynn, where he literally plays a killer. First time that she saw him, she was also reportedly seen at a private screening of the movie. Movie. I think that's a pretty convincing one. If you're a big Swifty fan, you know that Taylor Swift likes her Tumblr. She likes to lurk on other people's Tumblr, liking posts, and trust me, the whole Swifty army has been making sure to be on the lookout for cryptic likes from Taylor Swift on Tumblr. Next line. Some boys are trying too hard. He don't try at all though. Younger than my exes, but he acts like a man so. Now this is an obvious line. She's talking about currently dating someone and referencing her ex-boyfriends. Although Joe Alwyn isn't the youngest of her exes, Connor Kennedy, Harry Styles, Taylor Law, Lautner. He's still younger than her last two exes. Calvin Harris was 33 and Tom Hiddleston was 36. The line about trying too hard, I think that that is referencing the fact that she doesn't need all these lavish vacations and getaways. She just wants a real relationship. I also thought it was really funny that she said her younger new boyfriend is more manly than her exes. She goes there. I see nothing but her, I keep him forever like a vendetta. Here, it sounds like whoever Taylor Swift is singing about really has come along and swept her off her feet. She's really excited about it. Sounds like he's the best man to come along so far. Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn have been quietly dating for months now. They were first spotted together in June. It's already September. Who knows how long their relationship has really been? The fact that Taylor Swift hasn't shared any of her details of her personal relationship means that she's really trying to keep it private. Next line, touch me and you'll never be alone. Now I really like this line. You really have to kind of dig deep and really know Taylor Swift to get that this is actually kind of a sad line. This is a line referencing the paparazzi and media frenzy that always surrounds her love life. Once you touch Taylor Swift, you will never be alone. You will most likely be swarmed by paparazzi. Your Instagram and Twitter will be taken over by Swifties tweeting you and asking you questions about her and you'll be thrust into the limelight essentially. Ah, Taylor, so poetic. But she's been doing a pretty good job keeping this one on the DL, so we'll see. Island breeze and lights down low. No one has to know. This one's also another reference to keeping her relationship quiet and protecting that. I think the island symbolizes a secluded place that's hard to get to, which also means it sounds like she's gonna keep her relationship on the down low and out of the limelight for as long as she can, maybe. The fact that the media didn't even know about this relationship for like six months goes to show how secretive she's being about this one. I know I'm gonna be with you, so I take my time. Here, it sounds like she's talking about how sure she is of her future with this new guy. She's going to take her time because it's that important to her. We all know Taylor Swift is a dreamer, but it's really crazy to hear her speak like that. She must be really excited about this new one. Maybe it'll be different, guys. Maybe. Me, I was a robber. First time that he saw me, stealing hearts and running off and never saying sorry. Here, she switches the narrative to talk about his first perception of when he saw her. Obviously, there's a lot of media and press surrounding Miss Taylor Swift, and people see her as a stealer of hearts, so that's most likely what she's referencing to here. But if I'm a thief, then he can join the heist. I liked that line, because it also sounds like 
like Taylor's just owning up to the fact, yep, media thinks I'm a stealer of hearts. You wanna jump on board or what? Get it, girl. He can be my jailer, Burton, to this Taylor. I like this line a lot. It's very cryptic. And I'm so glad that the Swifties out there dug deep into this line. Richard Burton was married to Elizabeth Taylor. Their relationship was a big deal, was always talked about. Some would say that this was one of the first big relationships that the media and paparazzi and rumors swirling around them ruined their relationship. Burton and Taylor also went to extreme lengths to avoid paparazzi, even getting married in Africa. Taylor Swift is also known to get to extreme measures to avoid the paparazzi. And I'm not talking about the box, that was a rumor. That would be really funny though. This particular lyric also sparked some conversation that it's similar to Wildest Dreams because her character fell in love on a movie set with her co-star, which is what happened with Burton and Taylor. Oh, that's a good one. Every love I've known in comparison is a failure. I forget their names now. <laughs> This line cracked me up. Serious shade. She's saying that regardless of how glamorous and jet-setting and talked about her last relationships were, they don't compare to what she has now. So much so that she's forgotten their names. Well. I'm so very tame now, never be the same now. It sounds like whether or not she's already done it, she's trying to make some changes in her life. She's doing something a little different than what she did in her past relationships by keeping it private. Which is crazy to think. I feel like she generally jumps right into relationships and paparazzi follow her. Tom Hiddleston, paparazzi shots on the rocks, thank you. This also could be a little plug at Wildest Dreams, talking about being wild versus being tame. I don't know if anyone's ever thought about that. It's possible possible. And then she says, I think this is a great lyric too. Baby, let the games begin. Ha, ah, we all know how it is when Taylor starts dating someone new. Let the games begin. Sure, a like by Taylor Swift on a Tumblr post doesn't necessarily confirm things, but it pretty much does, right? It's a start, and I feel like that was Tay Tay's way of validating that theory. Some people were thinking that this song was about Harry Styles because of her line, but if he's a ghost, then I can be a phantom because of Harry Styles' supposed song about Taylor Swift called Two Ghosts. But the fact that Taylor Swift liked this fan theory about the song being about Joe Alwyn pretty much confirms it's not about Harry Styles. I like this song a lot because it's a mixture of old Taylor and new Taylor. She's talking about risque situations, fantasies in her dreams, but she's also talking about romance and love and keeping something sacred to herself. I could also argue that this relates to her song I Know Places, talking about it's a scene that we're out here in plain sight. That obviously does seem to be a recurring theme in her songs because it's about her life. That is something that she has to deal with. Whether or not it's a friendship or a relationship, it's a scene that they're out there in plain sight. It is! <laughs> Talking about going to an island in the middle of the night, turning the lights down low so nobody has to know. It's a very common theme in Taylor Swift songs because in her relationships, it's more than just two people. We get in there too. <laughs> the vultures are swarming. I really like the beginning. It's this rap beat that we've never heard from Taylor. I've never heard her rap and she does a great job of it. It sounds edgy and dark and I love it. And then we go into the chorus which sounds more whimsical and dreamy much like Wild as Dreams and talking about romance in the middle of the night. I think it's just a great mixture overall. What do you guys think? Tell me down below if you guys think any of these theories are right. If you have any other theories. I really loved reading your comments on my Look What You Made Me Do music video Decoded. I hope you all enjoyed that. I like that the song ends with repetitive lyrics saying baby let the games begin and then one more time it says are you ready for it oh so metaphorical i love it is she talking to us is she talking to joe is he ready for the media frenzy storm that's gonna surround them once they step out in public for the first time are we ready for the new taylor is she really dead i just don't know guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and let me know what you guys think i love reading your comments thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye